Repairs to the breach was started in 1991 by three couples who were already doing prison ministry. And they started uh, Repairs of the Breach Thrift Store as a way to fund their ministry. And um, it's kind of evolved to us helping the homeless. Our mission has kind of focused on homelessness and helping the homeless because the problem uh, continues to grow in our area. So we provide meals seven nights a week now. Um, and it is a group of churches who we've organized that want to help serve meals to the homeless. Um, what that consists of, what that looks like, is preparing the meal off-site, bringing it and serving it. And it can be something as simple as soup and sandwich, or it can be um, fried chicken, sides, and dessert. It can be whatever your budget allows. In addition to the meals, we also have the showers open five days a week. We have plans in the near future to remodel the showers. Um, it's going to be taking place probably next month and uh, make it more accessible to where um, the bathroom can be used while the shower is being used. And we'll have also have a washer and dryer where we can wash the towels on site. We recently added the laundry ministry to the shower services for uh, the individuals uh, taking advantage of the showers. And what that consists of is a group of people meeting them at the laundromat and they pay for the laundry. The individuals do their laundry themselves. And that gives them a, a sense of responsibility um, that they are doing something for their self. Most of the people that we're dealing with find themselves to be homeless because of severe mental health issues. I find that's the number one um, issue. And then some of them with severe mental health issues also have drug addictions and alcohol addictions um, as well. Some of them have both. You know, some of them may have one or the other. Um, and their family has uh, cut all ties with them, even, you know, and they just say they're not welcome here. And and I, I'm not, they're, I'm not saying the homeless are innocent. I'm not saying this; these people are innocent. Um, I'm saying that um, they're still people and they need other people to show them the love of God and show them that someone does care because we have, in the past few months, several have attempted suicide um, or spoke of wanting to commit suicide. I know the Bible says we'll always have the poor with us. And um, so we know that what we're doing is the right thing by providing them with meals, food, uh, clothing, uh, providing them with uh, support in, in ways that we can. A few ways people could get involved is serving a meal. They can volunteer to work in the thrift store or they can volunteer to work in the service side to be like a kitchen shower monitor. Or they could volunteer a group of people to come and serve a meal. You know, they could organize a group of people to come together and serve a meal or a group of people to come and volunteer. We have youth groups come and say they're gonna volunteer one Saturday every quarter. You know, it doesn't have to be weekly. It can be on whatever schedule they're available.